For terminal voltage of the battery whose EMF is 10 volts and internal resistance of 1 ohm, when connected through an external resistance of 4 ohms, as shown in the figure. So we have to find out the terminal voltage of this battery. The terminal voltage of a battery is the voltage measured across its terminal. And we must remember that whenever a battery is not connected through any external resistance, its internal EMF will be its terminal voltage. But the moment we connect any external resistance across a battery, it will form a closed path, and due to which current would start flowing in the circuit. And because of that, there would be certain voltage drop inside this battery due to its internal resistance. To find the terminal voltage, we must calculate the voltage drop across this internal resistance. So in this case, what will happen? Let's say this current I is flowing through the circuit, and its value I would be V upon R. V is 10 volt, and R is the total resistance of the circuit, that is 4 ohm plus 1 ohm, because these two are connected in series, so this would be 4 plus 1, that is 5 ohm. So the current would come out to be 2 ampere, because this 2 ampere current is also passing through internal resistance 1 ohm. Certain voltage drop will take place, and its value would be I into R, that is 2 amps into 1 ohm, that is 2 volts. So the terminal voltage of this battery in this case would be EMF minus voltage drop in its internal resistance. So its value comes out to be 10 volts minus 2 volts, that is 8 volts. So option C is the correct one.